So Ran, as we call, uh, as we uh, as we uh, discussed earlier, uh, radio access network. This is the critical component of wireless communication system, right? So it provides coverage and connectivity to mobile devices. There, there are several different RAN architectures available today. Uh, and each of them has a unique strength and trade-offs. So ultimately, the choice of RAN architecture will depend on the range of factors. So it may include a specific use case or network topology and available resources and the performance requirements. So operators can optimize their network performance, improve efficiency, and uh, deliver high speed, uh, low latency, and high reliability data transfer, okay, as required by 5G applications. So RAN also evolves. So we're now uh, discussing about the evolution of radio access network. So this is a different set of evolution. Uh, because the, the first evolution that we have discussed is the 1G to 5G. Now we are talking about the uh, evolution, particularly of the radio access network architecture. Um, first, we have this, what we call the traditional network. We call it the DRAN. Okay? <clears throat> the DRAN or the distributed RAN. So we call it also the traditional network. So if you hear something about DRAN, we are referring to traditional network. DRAN means distributed RAN. So why is it called distributed? So this is the traditional uh, RAN architecture that has been used for many years. Kasi simula pa nung dineploy yung mga unang technology like 2G up to LTE. No? Meron pa tayong DRAN yan. Actually, sa Pilipinas, most of our deployments are DRAN or the traditional network. Okay. So it consists of separate baseband, okay? Baseband units and radio units which are connected via dedicated fiber or copper cables. And uh, yeah, so the the cell sites or the radio, the baseband and the RRU are located in the cell site premises. So 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 same like this, no? Yeah. This is a distributed run. So yung ating mga baseband unit Okay, yung ating mga baseband units, radio units are located inside the premises of the cell site. So we call it the distributed run because we are distributing no, yung mga run sa iba't ibang locations no, ng ating mga cell sites. So that is the traditional network. And then it evolves into a centralized network. Yeah. A centralized network uh, in this architecture uh, it emerged in response to the need for more flexible and cost-effective solutions. So it uses a centralized processing unit to support a multiple remote uh, radio heads, okay, which are connected via high-speed fiber optic links. Okay? And uh, this approach can help to reduce cost and improve network efficiency. So what, what happened here is that the baseband unit previously located at the premises no in the premises of the cell site now located in a central office nakapool na siya so we call it the baseband pool and in some terminologies or some references you will uh, read it as a baseband hotel so we are having some jokes in the in the RF engineering buti para wang baseband in a hotel <laughs> so we have some baseband hotel, okay? Yeah. So those uh, basebands are pulled together in the central office. So for the ease of uh, maintenance, okay? And of course, uh, this is also using a fiber optic. And uh, some of the fiber, we call it dark fiber, uh, yung mga spare ng mga operators, they are using it no, to connect this uh, um, 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 are used uh, to the baseband pool. Okay, so the BBUs are pulled in the centralized location and the site only has the antennas and the RU and the BBU, RU, and interface are proprietary. If you say, um, yung mga protocols niyan is uh, still uh, under the 
uh, control ng operate ng ano ng existing vendors natin. And then uh, it became virtualized network. Yan. Okay, virtualized network. So virtualized network in this architecture uh, builds on the benefits of the CRAN. Actually, it's a CRAN as well, but uh, it's a different case na no? It adds the virtualization technology, okay, to further improve efficiency and scalability. Um, by using a software-defined uh, networking and network function virtualization, so meron tayong separate uh, discussion about SDN and NFV technologies uh, under Open Run pa rin yan, uh, under Asia Open Academy pa rin yan. And it creates a virtual network functions that can be uh, rapidly deployed and scale as needed. Just imagine last time, that is, uh, so traditional network, like for, for example, no, I will uh, activate uh, additional capacity or additional carrier of LTE. What I need to do, the site engineer needs to go to the B, to the premises ng cell site, insert the board, or like for example, the additional LTE board to activate that carrier. So kailangan niya pumunta pa sa site. So he needs to go um, in the cell site premises. And then centralized network, ang uh, mangyari kung kailangan nating mag-upgrade ng site, so the engineers don't need to go in the cell site premises. Saan siya pupunta? Dito na lang sa central office where he can upgrade, okay? Okay, switch sa boards, no? Doon sa pinaka-central office and then activate the LTE. So, but this time, here, dahil virtualize na tayo, <clears throat> if the <coughs> operator wants to increase capacity or to direct traffic, no? Uh, he can do it without physical intervention dun sa equipment. You can use also virtualization only. Just a pra, uh, adding command only. And then create a new instance of the network. And then if the if that instance is not needed anymore, you can just delete it. Okay, so ganun yun. Para kang, just imagine it uh, like an app in your phone. For example, you want to listen in the, the Spotify no? What do you want to what what you will do no you will get your smartphone download the app okay download the app uh, install the spotify and then listen to the music now if you don't want to listen anymore and then you want to delete that app just click the delete so that's how uh, flexible it became so that that kind of concept is being applied in the telecom world and then we call it the virtualization okay so the 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 main challenge here is that the uh, the software is still proprietary with virtualized function so you can still uh, the the product is still proprietary coming from the different vendors and the interconnection is still proprietary okay so that's how the the virtualized network is happening you can install the software or configure the software in the cots hardware okay commercial off the shelf hardware you can buy a server and then install those uh, uh virtualized function there but the interconnection is still proprietary okay so it's still not open okay so it's proprietary interface pa rin. and then the open run okay so the open run now we have the core network your baseband unit is now separated into centralized unit and the distributed unit and then you have the radio unit okay so there is a separation the the functionality is already split and then the cloud native network functions and the gpp hardware meaning you are also using a gpp general purpose hardware or cots hardware and the software defined networks and the interfaces are open meaning you can mix and match different vendors to the different uh, vendors of the RU to the CU or the DU. Okay, so this is how the open run is different from the virtualized run. Okay, so you remove the proprietary um, uh, factor no, dun sa mga equipment natin. That's uh, how the open run differs from the 
from this uh, different radio access network. Okay. <clears throat> so ano ba yung mga cots? No? When we talk about cots. So pag sinabi natin cots, so it's commercial off the shelf. So it's a software term for software products that are ready-made and available for purchase. And the BBU gets replaced by COTS server rather than being proprietary BBU hardware. Previously, uh, so that you can also relate now, if you want to, if you want to buy a radio, if you want to listen to FM or AM radio previously, you need to buy a radio. Right? Buy a radio, physical radio with an antenna. And then you tune it and then you listen to your favorite station. Okay. Now you can listen to radios or FM radio, particularly, even though it is just a simple application only and then connected to the server or to, to application server, no, nung, nung radio station. Na yon. So you don't need to buy the radio. You can just have the phone and then install the software there. So you can use and then uh, um, enjoy the benefits of the functionality ng radio. Ganun din nangyayari dito sa, ano, sa, sa open run. So you don't need to buy the, the baseband unit. You just buy uh, a COT server and then just configure it of the functionality of the baseband function that you, you want to implement in your network. Okay? And proprietary interfaces between radios and COTS base remain as they are. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you can connect different vendor of RRU to different vendor of BBU. So that's how the uh, flexibility of Open RAN is now. Uh, when we uh, try to uh, see some application like this no sa mga testings na mga open run uh, system uh, you can see in the test systems that the, there's a separate bbu and then there are different rrus that they are testing if it is uh, working you know interoperable to each other and sometimes there's a one rru and then you connect a cu you can check the different cu to check the the interoperability so tinetest nila yung mga interoperability ng bawat vendors isa isa so that's one of the applications. Yeah. 